right, Gator Nation, welcome back to the Gator Nation podcast. I am the GMP Gator Nation principal, Moten, and I am joined by someone who, when we first met each other, we didn't necessarily know that this was going to be our fate, but it just took one question, <laughs> and I think we knew at that moment that we were destined. Ariana Titch, That's how me. are you? I'm alive, man. I'm here. Seventh grade math teacher. <laughs> math, science. Oh my gosh, I teach seventh grade science. Science. Seven three to eighteen. You do so much. Sometimes it's oh hard for me God. to remember. You know what? I'm gonna I'm take that as an insult. Me, <laughs> Thunderbird, and Miss Tracy, all of us. That's oh okay. my gosh. Okay. That was so blown up already. <laughs> that's, look, that's a precursor to next year. He gonna be like, he teach math instead. <laughs> seventh grade science teacher. Yes. My apologies. I know that that was. It was back and forth for a while, whether it be math, whether it be science, but mm -hmm. seventh grade science teacher. That's me. All right, so I kind of tease it a little bit. Uh oh. But we met each other last year, mm -hmm. prior to you coming to Rock Hill, mm -hmm. and I was told, hey, we're bringing someone to Dutchman Creek. You know, we want to show her around the, the different places and think that you know we want to show one of the best schools. I, you know, I said, right, cool. I know this is the best school. So I remember coming up, and when I saw you, saw the name, I said Tinch, Tinch. I said I know some Tinches, and I knew Clemson, mm -hmm. so the the corner of the state. And I said I played football with a guy, last name Tinch from Cabin Falls. You go really? <laughs> What's his name? Thomas Tinch. That's my dad. <laughs> and right then and there. It was on. Yeah, that's Pops, yeah. All right. So, Miss Tins, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your upbringing. What, what, what even brought you here to the Gator Nation? Like, we're, we're blessed to have you. You want my, like, politically correct answer or, like... I want the <laughs> real deal Holyfield. So, the real deal, okay. So, I grew up in Greenville. I have three brothers. Um, my oldest brother passed away in a car accident. Uh -huh. And that's kind of what kind of boosted me to try to figure out what I wanted to do with life. Because he, he died at a relatively young age. So I was like, okay, maybe I need to figure out what's going on, what I want to do next. Uh, so I had a bunch of teachers kind of pushing me to do different things. Um, and that's kind of what got me into teaching, like teacher cadet and like call me mister, uh, just different things along the road. And so um, long story short, I've been a lot of different places. I ended up uh, at Glenview Middle School last year, taking over a classroom. And uh, while I was there, I was like, well, I think I should explore just some different places just to see kind of what I want to do. I want to, you know, take the first, you know, option or whatever. Um, and so I think it was a football game. I met Dr. Smalzy and he, he was on my bus and I was escorting him. And uh, he was like, hey, he's like, I, I just I just love your energy. You know, he's really, you know, amped up, really excited person. I was like, okay, man. <laughs> I was like, okay, cool. Like, thank you. He's like, we have this this leader in me thing in my district. We just going on and on. I was like, okay, okay. And then he was like, yeah, just you know, just just hit me up. You know, we we can figure something out. You can come check us out. And then I, like literally from that point on, all I heard was Rock Hill, Rock Hill, Rock Hill, Rock Hill, Rock Hill. And I was like, what is even in Rock Hill? I was like, the only time I've ever been to Rock Hill was to play basketball in like high school. So I was like, okay, cool. I'll check it out. And then one thing led to another, and here I go. All right, so you met Dr. Smallsy in what capacity? So I am a mister, was called a mister at Clemson. Um, and I was a student ambassador for the president's suite. And as a student ambassador, uh, you basically kind of talk to whoever the president has as guests for football games uh, and then escort them up to the suite that the president has. And so um, he was part of my entourage that day, and the people I had to escort up. and. I, I guess he just saw me kneeling and wanted to talk. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Wait, I, I will say this about you. You had a type of personality that you draw people to you. And so that certainly bodes well for you as a teacher and someone who will be an influence on young people. So I can easily see Dr. Smalls being, you know, just attracted to your energy mm -hmm. and wanted to see what you were all about. So. Talk to us about Ms. Tense, the science teacher. Like, if I'm a student in that classroom, what what am I experiencing? What's now, a, what's the classroom like? Now here? you said no rules, right? Okay, so I'm gonna tell you the real. My kids <laughs> will tell you this happens all the time. The first question I ask my kids is, "Who's the bald black lady?" Right. Mm -hmm. 
So we go into different questions and like, well, who is the bald black lady? I'm like, well, how do you figure out who she is? Well, we got to ask questions. Lovely. We're doing science already kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so a typical day in my class, uh, it can be anything from, okay, we all need a break because I'm stressed out. Y'all are stressed out. I can feel the energy's off. Let's have a day where we kind of get some encouraging vibes to get the energy changed back in the room. Um, discipline looks a little different than a lot of classes. Like instead of just straight to, you know, coming to see you or doing different things like math conversation, like this thing happened yesterday, this was not gonna happen tomorrow kind of thing. And so we'll talk about it. Like what are things that went well, things that uh, didn't go well. Uh, the kids have jobs. They had, to, they had to pay me for guided notes today. I said, well, listen, you're in seventh grade, man. I was like, you want guided notes? You're gonna have to hook me up for the dollars. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll just fake money. Don't worry guys, it's fake money. Um, but yeah, there's, just, there's a lot of systems in place to kind of help keep the flow of the room because the kids know like when they come in there, it's a safe, calm space. Um, even though we do fun labs and get loud, like they know at the end of the day, like I'm on their team and I'm there to help them learn science. That's it. I sense a common theme in everything that we talked about so far, and that's relationships. Absolutely. Relationships. Um, you have a gift, and that is to forge really solid, strong relationships, and that'll carry you forward, and that'll carry the people in your influence forward. Absolutely. So, uh -oh. <laughs> coming to the creek, you know, you heard all about Rock Hill. Mm -hmm. What is something that occurred that you were completely just it happened and it was not expected was not expected um besides being on this podcast <laughs> so <laughs> something that wasn't expected um i think it's like kind of like the energy of dutchman like everybody see, like all the teachers at least seem to like want to do something right which is like, I won't say like unheard of, but like a lot of times when you see like veteran teachers, they're at the point where they're like over it or they're like, okay, I've done this for 20 years. I just want to keep going and do whatever, you know. Um, but here I see like young teachers and veteran teachers getting at it. Like they're, they're planning different things. They want to do stuff. They want their kids input. They want to see things change for the better. So that's one big thing that surprised me. Um, another thing is like, I always say like wherever I go, kids will be kids, but like, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> how kids will be until you meet the kids but like all of my students have always been like you can always see like different students and other students so that's mm -hmm. always fun okay and and thinking about this school year and the composition of our staff we have a very diverse staff absolutely we have um you name it we pretty much got it we have people with their doctorates we have mm -hmm. you know brand new teachers you know first year um and ever have a classroom you have people who have come from you know different parts of the country and the world right and so collectively we are a gator nation absolutely and so it's interesting to, to get your perspective of the common goal of wanting to get after it wanting to make sure that you know there's the effort to give everything that you have each and every day and then you know being those influences on the, on the students I've often said to the kids, you know, it's not a lot of what we say is what we do. Right. And so they'll emulate that. They emulate your energy, they em emulate your drive and, and your enthusiasm. So all of that is much appreciated. Absolutely. Um, I think you're gonna win this one. I got on speechless, guys. I've done it. I, I, I was, I've done it. <laughs> they, they, they won you and I took a picture and uh, we kind of teased about it. And you, you proved to be right. No. I was like, I was like, you know, our, our, our heads both are, are, are shining right there. You said I can grow mine back though, and I, look, so I, 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 I can't even get you with the question of who has better hair. I got look every time I look back whenever I need to. <laughs> so I'm gonna move on from that one. Um, what are your long-term aspirations? Man, oh man, you mean like with the school or like personally, like? What are your long-term aspirations? This is gonna sound cryptic, okay, but make it to tomorrow, okay? Because sometimes, as much as I struggle through different things, right? Like I can remind myself as much ambition as I have and drive and energy and like all these dreams and goals, right? Making it to the next day, that's that's step one, right? If I can make it to tomorrow, then we good. We're good to go wherever we want, right? Um, but like in like a professional sense, um, it don't really matter. I plan on getting my PhD in a few years, hopefully back in Tigertown. Um, 
and then after that figuring out how my research will help folks wherever whenever uh, making sure that kids um, when we you know talk about discipline and we talk about changing behavior that we can do it in a way that is not only just restorative right but like it's like long lasting sustainable um, and even for the families in general oh love it love it love it love it <laughs> all right so rather than sit here all evening because he could uh, back and forth he could you could too <laughs> that's why we, we match each other <laughs> and it's not just the, the head we match each other pretty well but uh we'll close out um if you could sum up your experience here at Dutchman Creek and I'm gonna give you three words, what would it be? Uh-huh. Let's see, uh, let's see who goes out the talk right. Three ready, words. You ready, you ready for it? Man oh man. Man oh man. <laughs> You're a mess. Alright, Miss Tips. I'm gonna let you out the hook on that one. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, no problem. You are all nervous and worried. You, you Listen, I don't get nervous. I just like being prepared. Oh no, oh no. Okay, you, you, were, you, you were you 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 were you were going around, there's creeping around, trying to figure out what was going so, on. So okay, for context, I, oh, I know we at the end of everything. Time for context. Okay, <laughs> he wanted to send this cryptic email that was like, "Are you are y'all busy at the end of the day on Thursday? Like we need to meet immediately after school." But they didn't want they didn't want to tell us what it was about. So then he just left it like that, and I was like. Mm suspicious because when you get sent to the principal's office at least you know why you're there if you make a mistake now what fun is that i'm flawless i didn't make a mistake what fun is that too much fun here <laughs> <laughs> gotta have you back okay so be prepared yeah look if i get was it 100 likes in the comments <laughs> you're nice all right need you to send us all gave the nation style give us your very best go name go go uh, uh, can't even talk give us your very best Go Gators. All right. You know, Don't break my microphone. Yeah, please. that's what I thought. Because you're not going to get loud. Oh. You ready? <laughs> Go Gators. You are a mess. <laughs>